Hello everyone, I'm your Shadow Buddy, and welcome back to our Wizard Tower tutorial. We are going to continue with the second third, probably up until about here, with our tower. So one of the first things we can do to get started is just start building up our cobblestone again. So we're going to build it up eight tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it's not going to be done all the way around. So I will show you where, what we're going to do. So it's going to be eight tall here, here. I'm going to leave this two here, two all the way around here. until you get to there. So go ahead and build that up eight tall, including this block here, and I'll be back to you in a second. Welcome back. So we're going to work with this small balcony on this side real fast. It's not gonna take long. We are going to place a stair, a stair. I'm actually going to do that again two upside down stairs on the outside, a slab in the middle, two cobblestone walls on either side, and then we are going to just kind of build, going to place two on top, one in the middle, and then we're going to do this little design right here, with, which uses some polished diorite, if you don't know what it looks like in this texture pack. So two on top of that, two, go ahead and place one, two, three, four. We see how that looks now. And the polished diorite are going to go on the inside view. This here. I'm going to go one, one, two, three, and just copy that again. And we can go ahead and do the roof for this, since this also is fairly simple. We're going to be using some purper blocks. If you dislike how they look in vanilla, then I would suggest using either some purple wool or even just another kind of wood. Um, dark oak is always nice. But I'm going to be using purper because I do love the way they look in this texture pack. So, fairly simple things. I'm going to place one. Actually, first, sorry, you're going to place two, one, one, two, one there, two here, one, 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 two, one. That's the simplest part of that. And then we're just going to place three more blocks. Pretty simple. One, two, and three. And then the other thing I forgot to mention inside this here is you can actually place four. So three, four. So while this is eight tall, there is a four block gap in here. And that is our four, first small balcony. And now we will move into the big one. Welcome back. We're going to start on our larger balcony. We're just going to first get it up to roof height and then we will take a look at the roof afterwards because it is a little bit complicated if you don't know what you're doing. But I also never know what I'm doing, so... Ahaha. So we're going to stack on each of these chiseled stone walls three high. high walls. And we're going to stack our slabs on top of that. And then kind of remember how we had the circles connecting. We're going to do the same thing within it. Just lining everything up to how it was. And now we're going to place 
one here, one there, leave a gap, and just place them on each of this, these here. So it is slightly different from the smaller one, but I think that it adds a little bit more detail than the other one that we were working on does. And now for this, again, just stack your diorite up on top of these. And then you're just going to copy what we have down below. Fairly simple. And now we can get started on the roof, which will be just ever so slightly more complicated. So we have, similar to this in the first part here, we're just going to place our blocks on top of this here. There's that. And then you're just going to layer your slabs around that edge. There, first layer done. Now we are going to start some of our stairs. So as you can see, we just kind of have some stairs here, three, two, a slab, two, three, two. So let's try that. Except you are going to want to fill in another layer of that. There we are, so we have two, three, two, slab, two, three, two. Pretty simple so far. If we go layer by layer, it is easier than going, looking at it as a whole, I should say. So now we're just kind of going to start, it's going to get steeper. So now, simplest way to do this is we're just going to place one a layer inside and just stack that up there except not all of these are going to have stairs on top of them this one see as you can see kind of built this side builds into the wall slightly so we're just going to do three two two and three on these outer ones here. So three, two, two, and three. And then once again, going to build up, but this time it's going to be up two. And it's just going to be this single one here, and then these two and the single one here. So we build in one, that, and up two. Oh, actually, sorry, I forgot that one. So I'm going to place stair, stair, leave a gap, stair, stair. And that is all of the roof that we need. It does look funny now because we don't have the rest of this, but as you can see, it looks better once you get the rest of this up here. And something we could even do, I think I will change that actually in the final product. I believe that that looks better. So we're actually going to raise this up one more block. Stair, stair, and there's just a slab on top of that. I believe that that will look a little bit better with the roof as a whole. And now we're going to get started on our second part up here. Welcome back. Once again, we are going to do something very similar to what we did down here with the stone bricks, but we're mostly just going to be using our wood and some blue stained glass panes, as well as some clay. So first, you're just going to place upside down stair, upside down stair, upside down stair, upside down stair. I'm going to leave a gap there. Same thing here, 
fairly simple. Again, very similar to what we did down below. And go ahead and fill that in with our slabs, one there. And then our fences are going to be placed down below these stairs that are showing anyway. And then we're just going to place our spruce wood on top, just layering around how we have been. As you can see, we do have patterns when we do these builds. Because if you haven't visited the channel before, I enjoy symmetry and patterns, things like that. So you'll notice a lot of that. So now we're going to take our spruce logs and place them on top of these. So they're going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tall. And they're only going to be on the edges. So let's go ahead and build those up. So they're going to be here, 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 and here. So go ahead and stack those up seven tall and something else you can do is stack the, the clay up as well but you're going to leave three block gaps in between on each of these four sides here so i'll go ahead and give the layout just leave gaps for our windows with where everything will be. So go ahead and stack those up so they are seven tall and I'll be back in just a second. Welcome back. Your logs and clay should be all built up now. So now we're just going to do three here and three here on top. So there should be a five block gap, five by three block gap. And also I forgot to mention Go ahead and fill these in as well. I did not mention that, but go ahead and build those up as well, because I did forget to do, that, to do that myself. Simple stuff. Once again, I would love someone to count how many times I have said that so far and let me know how many times I've said it, because I'm sure it's a lot. Now we're just going to fill all of these in with blue stained glass panes. So go ahead and do that and I will be back to you in a second. Welcome back. We are going to work on our final touches of all the spruce wood around this build. So you can go ahead and place three glass blocks in front of each of these windows. Also, I'm sure as you may have noticed, I am using world edit for this video and the build just because it's much easier for me to keep up with everything that needs to get done. And I was talking so I didn't explain it. Trap doors in front of these and slabs underneath them. to take two upside down stairs on either side and we're just going to start wrapping around some slabs fairly simple again oh there it is again I said it again <laughs> uh, yeah so upside down stair on either side upside down stair just wrap it around
there's that. Now we're going to build up with our spruce fences, three tall on each one of these. side of our and you can put don't forget you can put flowers in these um, little grass planters here if you would like to I have not yet but some flowers would look very good in there and as you can see we're just going to place an upside down stair a right side up stair in arching in and then more slabs so upside down in in, in, in. If you already saw it, we place three blocks on top. And go ahead and just start wrapping this around until we get to here. And same things over and over again. definitely is coming together and I hope all of you who have been building this so far are also happy with how this is coming along and if you have any other ideas for things that you would like to see built then please let me know because I am always in need of ideas so now to finish this up we're just going to do again our stair slab mix as we normally do so we do stair stair Stair, 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 stair. I can stop saying that now because I know that you all understand what I am doing. Labs, wherever they need to go. One more there. Alrighty. And I think I'm going to leave that part of the tu tutorial here. And then we will start on the roof and the chimney and everything in the next part. But until then... Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a later video. Have a wonderful day. Sincerely, your shadow buddy.